everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another super cool video on cards, the universe and everything. Okay, today we are going to do a special video for new players really, how to get 1000 points on a single turn. It is pretty easy and if you've never got 1000 points before, we're going to give you some tips on how to do that. So we're going to be basing ours on a dog deck but you can pretty much use any deck that you want really uh, the whole point of uh, a thousand point challenge or getting a thousand points on a single turn is you want to fill your deck up with cards that are going to give you a boost until played a little bit like that german shepherd there your cards in hand are going to gain plus 10 power until played and then you also want to pick a couple of cards that you're going to hold and we are going to keep in our hand uh, the miniature Shushmizer, or however you say it, because that's the start card. And then, depending on how the game goes, we're either going to keep the Sheba or maybe one of the other cards. But uh, possibly the Jack Russell. Uh, but we'll see. But anyhow, as I said, fill up the deck. Uh, and I'm going to run through this deck to show you how I've done it for this one. But you want to be getting as many cards or power cards until played as you can in that deck. So the first card we've put in, obviously, is the German Shepherd. There he is. On the draw, your cards in hand gain plus 10 until played. The next card we've got, as I said, I've built this around dogs. So there's a lot of dog cards in here. Uh, is the Beagle. Uh, 3 for 20. Your dog cards, wherever they are, gain plus 12 for this round. And a random card in your hand gains 12 until played. Uh, the Basset Hound going to help because it's quite low energy this week. Uh, your dog's cards, wherever they are, cost minus 1 until played. And your cute cat cards, well, we haven't got any. Wherever they are, gain plus 12 permanently. So I've really put him in because of the energy. And we do need to win a couple of rounds, obviously, before we get to that final round at the end. And hopefully get a 1,000 points. Then we've got the Chihuahua. A Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua, I know how to say it. On the play, if your deck has 11 or more dog cards, this card gains plus 66 permanently. I'm going to try and get him right at the end because he could get really powerful and help for this 1,000 points. So there we go. We've got the Jack Russell, another card that could be quite useful. On the start, this card loses 10 permanently, which is not brilliant, but we're going to try and keep buffing him up as much as we can. Uh, on the play, if your deck has 6 or more dog cards, which we do, this card then gains plus 90 permanently. So we're going to get 90 back on the play. And on the return, it's going to cost us plus five energy permanently. So, a bit of a tricky card to play, but we can definitely get him up to some super cool high points. So, that's the Jack Russell Terrier. The next card we put in, this is the, probably the main card for this deck. This is the one that we're going to base our thousand points on. This next card is the Miniature Schnauzer. There we go. On the start, so the start of every turn, this card's going to get 10 until played. So, we're just going to hold him. And when we do play him, let's play him in the middle next to two dog cards. Your cards in hand are going to gain 25. And then here we go with some of our until played bus. We've got the Great Race, a history card. On the draw, your life on land cards in hand gain plus 12 until played. Fantastic. And your opponent's life on land cards in hand lose 12 until played. So as I said, that's going to buff up until played. Some of our hold cards. Next card is really interesting card, this one. Is, is another life on land card the mythical creature it's the Wolpertinga uh, on the draw if your deck contains exactly four different albums which we do your life on land cards in hand game 15 until played so that, again that's until played card going to be pretty handy next one is the Siberian Husky really a dog card to give us a bit of energy on the play you're going to gain one this round so that's pretty useful only one for six but he will buff up Lays. It probably won't be the card in our last hand when we go for that thousand points, but dead handy card to have. And then we have a super card for a dog deck. Next one out is Doge or Doggy, but Doge, I think is how you say it. On the play, your deck contains Shiba Inu, which we do. Your dog cards, wherever they are, gain 19 until played. So that's really going to help buff up our whole cards. As is Canis Major. All on the return, all remaining dog cards in both players' hands gain plus 10 permanently. So again, that's going to buff up our dog cards if we're holding them. And then we got Corgi. On the return, your dogs are an unruly ruler's cards. Well, we don't have any of them, but we do have dog cards wherever they are, which is awesome, are going to gain 18 until played. So you can see in this deck, we've got loads of cards that are going to give us power 
until played. Like I said, we want to hold those cards as long as we can and keep buffing them up. So that's the Corgi, 764, quite expensive to play, but a cool card. And then another dog, really to help us win a round, because uh, we do need to win two rounds. That's the Dalmatian, six for two, but on the draw, this card gains plus 99 this turn. So super powerful card, and we do need to play him straight away, really. That's the Dalmatian. Nice dog, that one, I like that one. And then we've got a bird card. Here we go. We've got the Citrine Wagtail. Your dog cards in hand gain plus 33 this turn. Um, put him in really. I couldn't find another until play card. Um, but this one will be okay. This will help us win a turn as well. So that's the Citrine Wagtail. And then for more power, the Border Collie plus 3 on the return. Or plus 3 energy on the return. And then I've put in Cyborg. This is a bit of a wild card. Uh, for this deck because if played between two life and land cards we got loads of them it's going to give six random science where well, we don't have six we've only got two uh and six random life on land cards wherever they are plus 20 until played so that's really gonna hopefully give us some extra power on our hold cards when we play that cyborg card and then last two cards uh, the Dwarf Hotu. This is an awesome card when you're going for a big score. If played between two life on land cards, your life on land cards in hand game plus 24 until played. So if we can get him around a few times, that's really going to buff up our hold cards. And then the last one, Shibu Inu. Uh, on the draw game, plus six power until this card is returned to your deck. So it's a pretty good card to hold, really. Seven for 57. Uh, we could get him up quite powerful. But as I said... Depends how the game goes, depends on which cards we're going to hold. But for sure, we're going to hold miniature uh, Snazu, Snazu, <laughs> the miniature Snazu, as long as we can. Okay, let's go to a game and let's see if we can get this thousand point challenge. So, start recording. There we go. Okay, so, have a look. So let's go out with the Border Collie, Cyborg to get that buff, and this is going to give us a bit of power at the start, 105, and a nice buff from the Cyborg on six of our Life on Land cards, so 145, slightly in the lead, oh what are we playing here, Dojo looks like he's playing a ramp deck, this is going to be interesting, I think I quite like playing against ramp decks, because you normally get the first two rounds to get your cards in a good order, uh, and as we're going for a thousand points on the single turn, then we can try and win that last turn. So let's get Doge, or Doggy, but Doge round again, or get round quickly. That's the Jack Russell, let's get him out, that's going to give you that 90 buff. And that's 297, interesting card, yeah, it's kind of a ramp and power deck. This is going to be a good game, I'm liking the look of this. So that Jack Russell now is going to cost plus 10. We can get that cost down, but he's already up to a massive score because of that 90 permanent when you play him. And there he is, the miniature, nice and early. I'm glad he came out early. So we can just hold him now and buff him up as quickly as we can. And the Chihuahua, uh, let's put him first. That's better. He gets 66 permanently, so we can get him back round. We want to try and time it so he comes round on the very last turn if we get there. So it looks like round one is in the bag. That's good. He is ramping up. He's got 50 points in the bank at the moment. He's going to get 100 permanent on that butterfly. Nice. Nice deck, Dojo. I'm liking the look of your deck. Okay, so round two. As you can see, we are getting 10 per turn on that miniature. That Dalmatian needs to be played straight away. We've got Sheba as well. Uh, let's go around and Dalmatians, otherwise he'd burn away, or not burn away, but lose that extra points, so 237, oh Pico, you took some points off our cards, oh we lost 7 points there on each of our hold cards, that could be crucial at the end, let's see if we can get a 1000 points anyhow, but like I said, all these cards, or most of these cards you can see are just buffing up our hold cards, and we're holding 2 at the moment, which is Sheba and the Miniature, and that one's not much good, so this one helps. Uh, and until play, 276, that's okay. Like I said, on this ramp deck he's playing, we should easily win the first two rounds, and then we need to make sure we lose two rounds to get to the final round. That might be harder than it looks. 
So we've got more cards here that are going to keep buffing up. Look at that, it's already building up nicely, that miniature. And uh, Sheba's looking good. We might have to play Sheba and bring the Jack Russell around. Let's have a look. The best order for those two, three, oh. Yeah, he's still buffing up. He's got 88 in the bank now. 194. We've got a nice big lead here. Okay, we need to be careful that we don't win on the third round. See? We might have to throw a couple of turns. So, like I said, you can do this with pretty much uh, lots of different uh, themed decks. I went with dogs because it's one of the easiest ones to build. And let's put Doge out first. And uh, Husky. 89, we want to lose this, so I'm not getting too carried away. Those two cars still buffing up nicely. We'll have a look, see what they're up to when we play them. We've got 97 ramp, a bit more. 102, that's nice, Doja. That will help us lose. There's that Jack Russell. Now, I think he's up to a massive score already. Look at that. So those three cars between them, not that we can afford to play him. He's up to 182, and when we play him, we're getting a 90. 377, seven, that's massive, but we don't want to do that. Too much, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just play, let's play Sheba 297. Let's get that one round again. So we're going to hold Jack Russell and the miniature until the end now. That is the plan. I didn't mind playing Sheba because we can get him back round again, or her, him or her. We can get that dog back round again. So we're 43 behind. He's got 126 ramp. Just make sure we don't get too carried away. Mm, that's that dwarf. Hot, hot. We want to use that. And there's the Chihuahua. I want to get that Chihuahua out now. Uh, this is complicated. We don't want to win. Let's just do that. And I did that because if we play him there, he should come round right at the end for us. And we can then play him with our miniature and our Jack Russell. They're looking pretty strong already. 253. Yep, we lost that one. That's good. But we just need to be careful that we don't win the next round. And let's just keep using until played cards until the end now. It's that simple. So Beagle. Yeah, let's get him out of the way. And let's get Otto until played. Yeah, that's going to give those two cards a nice buff. 24 from that one. Oh, and another seven off from Pika. That's 14. He's taken off those two cards now. Oh, Pika, that's not nice. We won a thousand points. Okay, and there's the 18. So that's really good. Look at those two cards. They are looking good. And uh, don't worry too much that you lose 10 each time with the Jack Russell because look at these buffs we're getting all the way through. Uh, what are we? 52. He's got 129 in the bank. So we're about 180 behind. That's a bit strong, but we can throw the last round. Oh, that's okay. I wanted to get those cards out to get some more until played buffs and permanent buffs, I should say, from that Canis Major. They're looking good. So he's got 149, so he's 70 in the lead. Let's make sure we don't win this. So, probably get the. Uh, Six, seven, nine at the moment. That's not bad. Seven, nine, seven if we play them. But no, we're not going to play them. So let's just get that one out of the way and go for the three, one, three, three in the 70. Yeah, he must beat us. Please beat us. Yeah, that's good. Luckily, okay, it's two, two, and our cars are in perfect condition. And hopefully, the Chihuahua is going to come because we've only been playing two cars. Let me just work that out. We've played it. Yeah, we might be okay. We need that Chihuahua to come around. What have we got here? The Doji, that's going to be good. Now it doesn't matter how many points we get. We can just get the cards out. Uh, your dog cards, yeah, that's a bit of a waste, but let's play it. And I'll station 10 until played. Let's do that, 265. He's got a nice ramp. He's got 161, not bad. 265, we're pretty even at the moment. I'm feeling confident. I'm thinking we can get these two cards up. Like I said, you can do this with lots of other decks. Just fill your deck up with loads of until play cards and pick a couple of hole cards that you can see, either a start card or a good hole card. Have a quick look here. Yeah, let's do that in Cyborg. Hopefully Cyborg's gonna hit one of our cards or both of our cards. No, that's so unfair, Cyborg. I was hoping it would hit Miniature or Jack Russell. 
Oh, this is going to be close, guys. That Chihuahua must come out now. We need a Chihuahua. Come on, Chihuahua. You're going to be worth a couple of hundred points. No, he's not there. Is he there? Where is he? Oh, yes, he is there. Oh, I couldn't see him. My blind abilities was covering it. So, 993. But what we need to do, remember, put miniature in the middle. 993. And we are going to get that buff. We're going to get over a thousand. And if Pika hadn't taken 14 points off, we would have got much higher score. But there we go. That 25 on each card. 1068. There we go, guys. That is how to get 1,000 points on a single turn. Like I said, if you are a new player, this is the way to go. Fill your deck up with until play cards and get yourself a couple of whole cards. And then just make sure you win two rounds and get to the fifth round. And you should find it fairly easy with lots of different decks. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, this was a little special video. And um, if you've noticed, we are coming up to 1,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Because when we hit that magic number, we have got some fantastic exclusive stuff to give away. And you do not want to miss out on that. So thanks for everybody that has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, do help us. We are nearly at 1,000. And we'll see you all soon. Bye.